Lazius ants. Often underestimated due to their commonness, Lazius ants are a joy to keep. They grow fast, are very active on the surface, are divided into many subspecies and have no stinger or venom to speak of. All those factors combined make them a great choice if you want to start ant keeping as a beginner and keep them interesting throughout your experience with them since there is always something to watch and their colonies seem to develop almost effortlessly. Today I shall let you know how I came to love my Lazius emarginatus pet ant colony. Welcome to the Ants Vienna Ant Channel. Hello and welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I am Evangelos and I've been keeping ants for more than 10 years by now. But it wasn't until 2018 when I decided to make my experience public here on Ants Vienna YouTube and spread my knowledge and love about ants with everyone watching my videos. Now I've found this Lazius emarginatus queen a couple of years ago. Unlike their well-known counterpart Lazius niger, this Lazius species grows somewhat slower in the start but seems to have extreme snowballing potential later on. What I mean is that while in the beginning there are usually not as many nanitics as there are with other Lazio species, once a Lazius emarginatus ant colony is established and has access to stable food and water sources, the queen can start laying eggs at incredible rates. In fact, we have a wild colony of this ant species in our neighborhood that has reached thousands of workers and some of them even pay us a visit in our homes every now and then. When I moved my colony into this DIY ant farm that I made out of white donk, they lost some workers initially. I assume this was because nanitics, the first workers a queen ant produces, don't live for too long, but are energy efficient to produce and greatly help their mother early on. That being said, after the colony got used to their new formicarium, things started improving. With regular feedings of protein like mealworms and spiders, our little Lazius emarginatus ants are increasing in numbers. And more ants also means more action, so I get to show you guys more footage of them. If you are enjoying this video, hit that like button below. It really helps me out a lot by introducing my content to even more fellow ant enthusiasts. Now, many of you have asked me to make more ant feeding videos. So, let's get right into it. Here is some footage of my pet ant colony eating ham and salmon. Look how excited these ants are. What I personally like about Lazius ants is that they have excellent recruitment, meaning that more workers rush to the site as soon as the first worker discovers the food. Do you keep Lazius ants? Why do you like them? Write your comments below the video. I read and answer every single one. These ants also show magnificent coordination. Just watch how the ants manage to transport that piece of ham together, going through the vertical tubing and keeping it steady even when upside down in that cave-like nest area of their formicarium. Thank you. 
That is not to say that this action is limited to feeding times. Even when I'm not actively feeding the colony, there are workers foraging in the integrated outworld on top. Having workers scouting all the available space of an ant farm is a good sign to know that your colony is healthy and looking for more food to grow their brood. Speaking of brood, seems like our Lazius Emarginatus queen and her underlings have managed to successfully breed eggs into larvae which in turn have made it to the pupa phase. Judging from the number of pupae here, I am expecting our colony to grow in population soon and do great this ant season. The only thing that troubles me a bit are the few workers pulling on that cotton which blocks the entrance to the formicarium. I will probably have to replace that cotton with some silicone or other harder material if I don't want this colony escaping like my Campanotus nicobarensis colony did not too long ago. So, while being a slow starter for a species belonging to the Lasius and genus, I have come to love my Lasius emarginatus pet ant colony as much as they love the ant farm I've made for them. Now, if you want to make an ant farm like this or want to learn more about these ants, feel free to check out the videos that appear on your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.